Last night we did a teardown of this cheap piece of junk battery and my viewers want a capacity test. You guys are the boss, so we're gonna actually do that in this video. So right now we have a 12 volt charger and it's charging up to 100%. Also, I noticed some bad soldering. Check this out. On the battery connection on the VMS, you'll notice that some of the wire strands are sticking out. And that's awful. That's bad. What the heck? These reviews, people are like, wow, this quality is so good. This guy bought four of these. Really? I guess they're really cheap, so people are gonna buy them. People see the case and they think that it's just like all the other batteries. It's unfortunate. And no one's done a capacity test, so yeah, these results will be interesting. No one knows what they're talking about here at all. This person's like, wow, it works. Like, of course it's gonna work. Even the AliExpress batteries that were cheaper than this still work, but yeah, the performance is gonna be awful. Initially, I was impressed with their build quality. Nobody opened this battery at all. They just buy the battery and hook it up. Oh, look at this. This battery came non-functional and then they got a new one. So they got a good review for customer service, but one of the batteries was not functional at all. This guy wants these batteries to last for the next 20 years. Oh man, I don't know about that, man. Everything else looks pretty decent. I think mine will probably pass. Usually when they have a sticker, that machine that does the capacity test results is a lot more accurate than anything I have in my shop. It's down to like a thousandth of an amp hour and mine only does like 0.01 or whatnot. But they could be lying, so let's find out. Oh. Current has dropped to zero. Let's trigger the high voltage disconnect. We do this last step with the power supply to get that last bit of absorption. Oh, there we go. High voltage disconnect has been reached. Now we can do a capacity test. They are bulging more, obviously, but yeah. And we're gonna use a shunt for this test. We've used this shunt for a lot of tests now, so let's zero it out. Now, if we want a 0.2C test, we need to pull 19 amps continuously. And over here, we have a 24 volt EG4 battery and a 24 volt variable current charger. So we're gonna change the current on this charger until we get the perfect amount of current being pulled from that battery. Even on the lowest current setting, it's pulling 23 amps. So we need to find a different load. So this is the closest I could get with two heat guns with the heat disabled and just the fans running. And that pulls 17.7 amps. So this is as close as I can get it. So now all we have to do is wait. So we'll come back in five hours and we'll have our test results. Uh-oh, the test is finally done. That took a while. It was five hours and 20 minutes. So we're at 10 volts and we pulled 97 amp hours, 1.24 kilowatt hours. That's pretty good. It actually passed the test. Now 10 divided by four is 2.5 volts per cell, but let's see what these cells are actually at. 2.6, 2.5. 2.4, 2.4, so that's okay. Now something to keep in mind is even though this is rated for 95 amp hours and we pulled 97 amp hours, these were tested individually to pull 98 amp hours. So either one cell is actually 97 amp hours or they need to be balanced to get that remaining one amp hour. Now let's talk about if you should actually buy this battery. Even though it pulled full capacity, that is still like 81 or 82% of the original capacity of the cells. So you really have no idea how these were used previously or how long they'll last in the future. But you could use this for a gate opener or a battery that you really don't care about that's gonna be outside, but you need a 12 volt battery and you don't wanna use lead acid, especially in high temperature environments. Like out here in Las Vegas, lead acid batteries die. I have the cheapest, most junkiest 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery out there with my gate and it's running it just fine. I, I need to do an update video because that's probably the most amazing cheap battery in the world. But yeah, I'll show you in a bit. But it is good that this actually passed and it was advertised correctly, but I really think they should tell you that these are not the original capacity cells. These are not new. These are grade B or used or something. I have no idea. There's no way for me to tell. So I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.